Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of play, another episode of play Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Last time we went through the battle the in Wonshu, we went through the Yellow Turban Rebellion and uh well defeated Zhang Zhao and then recruited Zhang Zhao and then cut off Zhang Zhao's head. Uh in that order. Uh in this episode we're heading into the battle of Hulao Gate, which we you're probably asking, hey, didn't we already play this mission? Well, yes. But we're going to be experiencing it from the side of of uh, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang, and Zhang Fei, which is very different. Which is more, mainly where uh, in the Three Kingdoms novel, where Guan Yu starts to gain some fame, and also do the well, yeah, Guan Yu gains some fame with defeating Hua Shang, and also with uh, also in between these, uh, Liu Bei has been promoted from peasant to uh, district leader, uh, has now in control of an entire city, well, not, well, town. Basically made a yeah the district leader of a town, and Zheng Fei beat up a guy who was trying to bribe him, or extort him for money. So, anyways, the coalition armed forces have arrived at Hulao Gate in order to bring down tyranny, advance together, and slay the tyrant inside the capital. Also, uh, Liu Bei then gave it up, I think, because uh, because of how corrupt the government was. Also, by the way, we do actually do have a fifth weapon we can get here, which will be Guan Yu's. Zhang Zhao was defeated due to the efforts of Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, thus bringing an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, the land remained in chaos to begin to descend into an even deeper confusion and turmoil. He also uh, allied with Gu Song Zan. Five years following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, a conversation between the eunuchs and the emperor's relatives within the capital of Luoyang. Taking advantage of the commotion, Dong Zhuo, a powerful man from Xiliang, moved into the capital. He went there, he seized custody of the Emperor and made himself Grand Commandant, enabling him to engage in a reign of tyranny. I also learned more about why people served Dong Zhuo, which is very interesting. Turning to put an end to his lawlessness, Zhang Yuan Shao, an old man from Hua Bei, made an army to oppose him. By appealing to those across the land, he was able to form an alliance against Dong Zhuo. Also, Yuan Shao's family was killed by Dong Zhuo. Anyways, Liu Bei wished to help the endangered Imperial Court and join a coalition together with his sworn brothers. He also met a brave young warrior by the name of Zhao Yun, one of the most famous characters from this era. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and now Zhao Yun. Many great men have been drawn to serve by Liu Bei's side, although Zhao Yun is not serving Guan Yu, or Liu Bei at this point. Here they were determined to defeat Dong Zhuo with their sense of rightness amidst the cold winds of Hulao Gate. Now, Zhao Yun is probably one of, if not the most famous character of the Three Kingdoms era. Known for being, like, uh, another character known for his loyalty, strength, and valor, and was known for, uh, well, how should I put this, uh, being a very famous opera character, uh, in, like, many operas, including the Beijing Opera, which ha actually got a costume in Dynasty Wars 9. Uh, he was known for, he even actually recently got ga a game, if you didn't know this, by himself as the main character. Uh, very recently, actually this year, uh, a few months ago. Uh, he actually uh, got his own game. He was, oh yeah. He was mainly known for things I won't be able to say yet, but mainly the Battle of Changban, and for currently working under Gu Song Zan, uh, same with the rest of them. Which is not mentioned in game, is currently Liu Bei was, uh, is good friends with Gu Song Zan, which is a war, which is a warlord, which, which existed to the north, and basically, basically in the north tippy top of, of China, you know, like right there, there the little strip, Gu Song Zan basically controlled a little bit of that. And Gu Sun Zan and Liu Bei became good friends during the Yeltsin Rebellion thing, and under that he basically served under him. And through that he met Zhao Yun, which we'll be playing this time before you go back in. He was also known for being very honorable. Honor, 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 honor. Yeah. Without further ado, let's go talk to everybody. Also, Zhang Zhao's here because we spared him. Zhang Zhao became a big fan of Liu Bei. He loves him. Not in that way, of course. That Liu Bei has already far surpassed the Yellow Turbans. He should be a true leader of the people. I have come to lend him my power. Zhang Fei would be the worst person to drink wine with. He doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> so everyone hated him. Would the chaos really come to the end by taking out Dong Zhuo? Hope this is true. That man over there is pretty scary looking. He, he looks like he loves to fight in battles. By contract, Lord Liu Bei comforts me. I think he's really looking out, for, looking out for us. Lord Liu Bei saved me. He gave me a nice hot meal when I was lying on the ground and never to move. That's why I'll support him for the rest of my life. I owe him that much. Lord Liu Bei is different from the rest. He generally wants to help the people. 
We're not fools. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be here if we didn't believe in him. Urgh, it's so cold. I'm willing to overcome this cold for little Liu Bei. My name is Zhao Yun. I fight in this battle under the command of, of Master Gu Sung Zan, or Gong Sun, Gong Su Zan. It's a pleasure meeting. Greeting. A pleasant greeting. I am Guan Yu, here at the command of my sworn brother, Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei, I hear as a man of great benevolence. I am very happy to be able to fight alongside you all. Thank you. Let us defeat the evil Dong Shua together. My name is Zhao Yun. I fight in this battle under the command of Master Gong Sun Zan. Is that so? You look pretty strong too. I'm Zhang Fei. Let's do our best, eh? Master Zhang Fei. So you're one of the sworn brothers of Master Liu Bei? Yeah, that's me. Kind of strange to hear people I don't know talking about it. <laughs> you can't kind of name for yourself. Also, Dong Zhu, one of the things about Dong Zhuo and Yuan Shao, the reason Yuan, Yuan Shao made this coalition is because Dong Zhuo, uh, Yuan Shao openly opposed Dong Zhuo, uh, usurping the emperor, uh, deposing the emperor, I should really say, and because of that, Dong Zhuo murdered Yuan Shao's entire family in cold blood. He tracked him down and murdered every single last one of them except for, except for him. Uh, he was also uh, Dong Zhuo was interesting. I liked how Thrones of the Three Kingdoms nineteen ninety four put it. Dong Zhuo was a guy with a nice face, really nice face, and like really kind looking on the outside, but lied the heart, the blackened heart of a vile dictator, in like of like the most vile villain in the inside. Like, morally bankrupt, completely, but he was completely, like, like, hi, hey, join my army. If you join me, I'll promote you right away. And he did. Like, he did a lot. He would be like, oh, yeah, you're, you're serving me? Thank you. Thank you so very much for joining me. Here's a billion gold, and here's a and here's a fancy position. Meanwhile, watch as I decapitate about a thousand civilians' lives. I am Yuan Shao, the leader of this coalition. You are lucky to have me on your side. Any objective is to defeat that scoundrel Dong Zhuo and rescue the em our objective is to defeat the scoundrel Dong Zhuo and rescue the Emperor Luoyang. In order to do that, we must first clear Hulao Gate. Show no mercy to anyone who stands in your way. They also kind of ruined his character in this game, I was just going to say. Between, uh, basically because of Six basically rebranding Dynasty Warriors a lot and changing a lot of character personalities, Yuan Shao got the worst of it, turning from a character who was very, uh, not incompetent. They turned him into a pompous noble character when originally he had honor, he had like things, but he was very overconfident. Anyways, come on, show so flashy. I suppose it can't be helped that he's a nobleman. So these are the old generals that are taking to go Dong Zhuo. One of them is sure to uh, rise above the rest. Dong Zhuo is a scoundrel. There's no telling what he'll do in battle. The that letter which Yuan Shao supposedly wrote is peering the old Cao Cao's doing. Yeah, it keeps keep your voice down. Everyone knows about it except for Yuan Shao's henchmen. Well, if only a few of them had the intention of deposing Dong Zhuo, most of them have other intentions, like finding the Imperial Seal. <gasps> Whatever you do, do not fight against Lu Bu. He's Lu Bu, Dong Zhuo's strongest officer. Don't forget the beautiful woman he's got. You just stay away from her as well. If you get too close, I'm too scared to say what will happen. AKA, he'll murder you. Act like what happened to Dong Zhuo. Gong Suzan and Liu Bei gotta go a long way back. We'll study together under the scholar Liu, Liu Ji. Yep, they used to be friends. Zhao Yun is very dashing. Gong Kuzan gave his skilled officers white horses. They eventually became the famous White Riders. Show the riders of, of Bai Ma on this battle, Zhao Yun. I expect you to fight well, too. Yes, understood. Anyways, see you in a bit for weapon selling. Actually. I am going new. Let's defeat the evil Dong Shuo together. Now. Okay, now we'll profit selling. See you in a bit. Weapons sold. That was 250 weapons I just sold. Anyways, let's start the battle without further ado. I see. So you're here because you want to save the people. Correct. I can trace my ancestors through Prince Jing of, of Zhongshan. I cannot threat to the Han stand. I see. So tell me, Liu Bei. What future do you see for the Han? What exactly do you mean? Excuse me, who are you? My name is Zhao Yun, Master Liu Bei. I fight in this battle under the command of Master Gus Gong Su Zan. Ah, I see. Let's fight this evil together, for the sake of the people. For the people, you for the people, you say? Very well, I am with you. Uh, Zhao Yun. Probably one of my, another one of my favorite movesets in this game. I could love the Dragon Spear. It's fun. Basically, uh, going full Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. With the, with the spear, like the, uh, the Bending Spear. Basically a really flexible spear, apparently. 
And Zhang Jiao was here as a main character. Boonk. I mean, he's the face of the series for a reason, along with Dong Zhuo, along with Lu Bu. There's the other one of his EX attacks. The other one is... Stab Pierce! Another has fallen to my spear! Actually, what is your thing? I see. So it's basically what I'm doing. Pretty good. Hey, let's, let's see the supply line. Also, by the way, I mained Zhao Yun in, in Warriors Orochi 3. His horse attack in that game was ridiculous. They nerfed it in this game, but in that game it was amazing. Hello. This ought to be good. Don't know how to fight. Another obstacle, <laughs> Another obstacle, the path of justice has fallen before me. All right, here's his m Muso. Spin! Place your name. Place your name in house. Oh, by the way, Yuan Shu didn't do didn't have officers blocking him. He legitimately let Sun Jian get get destroyed. Actually, routed. Fun fact. His, his uh, unit entirely got routed in the actual book, and he actually had lost like a ton of soldiers because of it. Because Sun Jian was actually on a like a war path to the capital, and Su like he was like, you know, I'm not gonna let you take get there. You'll be seen as a hero, and we'll and we won't. So you die. Are you lost, you poor little thing? So yeah. Screw you on shoe. Both you want they. <laughs> so yeah. But a lot of Zhao Yun's loyalty and and valor will be shown later in the series, like a little bit later, a few missions later. Those two. One slash. Hello, Hua Shang. They're supposed to be killed by Guan Yu. But. I think actually, though, in history, though. Okay. I actually think that the, uh, that the Yuan Shu thing actually happened in the book, but I think in history, Sun Jian actually defeated Hua Shang. Like, ah, uh, Sun Jian. Such an interesting character who dies in, the sh in basically off screen. Such an interesting character who dies off screen. Yeah, he doesn't have a mention in the book of his death. It's just like, oh, by the way, yeah, he died. Also, I found out, you know how I, I, like, I basically really didn't dislike the cows uh, as character, as like playable characters? They're not even named. In, yeah, their names are not recorded in history. Shakyao and Dakyao literally means younger cow and older cow, so... <laughs> Again. And, yeah. Anyways, there's Dong Chen down. Okay. Folk. I shall Sao Xing or down. Let's go after this guy again. Yeah, this mission's looking very familiar. Into a trap. Or uh the uh for way. It's the exact same missions and everything. I use the exact same mission. My lord has ordered me to stop you. Come and face 
One, two, three, four. Okay, there it is. Let's show up the swap tag. Bonk. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. That he's got it. Just stop fight. The wolf. I think I got the Yermu, so. Can you open the door, please? 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 Can you open the door? Open the door! There we are. There we are. Alright, can you use your muscles? Yes, again. Looks so much better in this game than it does in Dice Wars 9, honestly. <laughs> Dice Wars 9 got rid of a lot of the, uh, the special effects that appear when you do those moves. Ow. Can you stop, please? But, uh, I understand why, but... Could make it more... They, Nine try to make things a lot more grounded, I've noticed. But in doing so, it's kind of removed a lot of... But, yeah, I... Though I do like a more grounded Warriors, personally. I like the, uh... The more... Historical feel... Versus, though I understand, like, you know, making people animate up, because, I mean, we are, we, I mean, I am running on a 555 kill count. Seriously. <laughs> Which is ridiculous for one person. Crush these Just, please. Just rush these vile pests. Uh, you can also destroy the roof on this, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Okay. I'm thinking of an area. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Come here. Horse. Let's go. Hello, Lubu. Now, histo now in novel-wise, Lubu, Jean Guan Yu, and Liu Bei all fought Liu uh, Lubu to a standstill. So much so that Lubu had got tired and had to run away. They are the only ones able to stand at Lu Bu. After they about threw about like three generals at him who died in a duel. I am here to help. My lord. We cannot allow your light to be extinguished here. That's right. We must combine our strength and defeat this raging monster. Honestly, Liu Bu shouldn't have played on this mission. Those that's why this is like basically where Xiao Yun usually appears. Actually, I don't think it actually is. I think he appears first at uh, Guangdu. Ooh. I'm just gonna defeat him. Wrong person. Okay. 
And there we are. It's Lupu. Excellent job. Defeat Lubu. But yeah, we'll have to do that again with on hard mode. Because that is the secret objective for Guan Yu. Okay, maybe the force attack is still as overpowered as I remember being. I remember it got nerfed, but I guess not. Maybe it's just these guys. They suck. Well, then we can just feed Diaton without having to worry. Bonk, bonk. Just slaughter them. Also, I like how they gave him a white horse because of the white cavalry. You know? Been blended. Will it blend? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then you to ashes. Yeah, we're still here. Slaps him with a spear. Slap, slap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Your head. Poke, 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 poke. And it's 1,000 kills. Die. Let's get some EXP while we're waiting. Let's get some more. And that's a full moveset, I think. And that's that. We also unlock, uh, well, a new mission for, well, Dong Zhua. Chase at Hulo Gate. So we just have three more missions, which are, I think, available on Jin and uh, Shoes. Except as the Festival Shoe problems. So in my, my opinion, this is the hardest star ranking to get in the game, by the way. But anyways, let's do uh, Guan Yu. So Guan Yu, kind of critique one of your dragon blades for a uh, certain blade that you all know, I think, at this point, the halberd. Uh, let's get that. So yeah. Blade and service of honor shall always prevail. Blade and service of honor shall always prevail. Alright. Mother, we're ready to depart. You there. You streak me some remarkable warrior. How about sharing a drink before the battle? My thanks for the offer. At the moment, though, we must concentrate on defeating this tyrant. Indeed. Now we strike. Defeat the monster Dong Zhuang. Bring happiness back to the people. Now, one of the interesting things about uh, Guan Yu versus Hua Shang. Historically, Guan Yu slayed Huan Sh Hua Shang. Or not, not historically. Book-wise. Historically, Sun Jian did it. But book-wise, Guan Yu slayed Hua Shang. Uh, basically, uh, in a thing, they had, uh, something called, uh, hot wine. Basically, it was a thing that they basically, uh, would cook, and they basically wine they would boil or heat up to basically give to warriors for their duels, like a final drink, slash, like, you know, you know, something to give you strength and warmth, like, while you're battling. Uh, Guan Yu 
I uh, basically said I do not need it. I'll be back to drink it when I come back. If I come back and the enemy is not dead, and the, en and the enemy is not dead, cut my head off. Guan Yu then went out, killed him in seconds, and then came back holding his head. That head he then presented to the middle of the court, threw it on the floor, and it was and it was done. Hua Shang was slain in less than in about one blow. That was what Guan Yu used to. Now, by the way, our objective for this mission in order to get the fourth, fifth weapon is to defeat Lu Bu in Hua Shang in 14 minutes. So, of starting the battle. So, we're almost there. So, two minutes have passed, so we have to defeat the Hao Sheng and the other guy. Okay, 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 okay. Not good enough! Oh, thanks, chicken. For the name of my brother. Ma Richin. Weird name. Or is it related to the Ma family? Of, uh, Ma Chow, Ma. Ma Tong, and Ma Dai, and Ma, and Ma Liang. One, two, three. Slash. Slap. Slap. One, two, three. Still think it's weird that they got a unique weapon despite only being available for, I don't know, two, three chapters of Dynasty Warriors uh, 7. Uh, not 7, uh. But you know the one, 9. I know I'm not playing 9. I've considered doing live streams of it. I've considered it. Nine is a game that I like to play, like, to relax. Like, it's just like, I kind of want to just, like, boot it up and just play. That's what I play. I play nine. If I do want 100% it, I'm trying to. I know. Insane to me. I know. Insane, but... But I kind of want to, you know? I like the characterization of some characters. I think it has one of the more interesting depictions of the Three Kingdoms story. Uh, though... Or at the most in-depth, I should really say. It's not the most interesting, I should really say, with the couch and with it being, like, a uh, character poses, but that's how I also experienced Four's story, and I, like, uh, Samurai Wars Four's story, and I enjoyed that one. Okay. Any unique dialogue? No. Then there's Wash On. And I present your head your head to everyone. I have slain the enemy officer. Wash on. And then, yeah, and they're just like, holy crap, this random dude this random peasant just slew like just slew Wash On. How are you unable to do it? <laughs> Let's throw a baker's dozens worth of generals of Harshong. I just go. They throw a baker's. If we knew that, I wouldn't have done that. Can they stop standing on the floor for like a while? I do have to say that. That is something that's kind of annoying right now. They, they purposely stay on the floor a bit so they can buy time. <laughs> we have to show up the area move so for him as well. Will, will, will. Will, will, will. You don't want to respond to you. Alright, what's this area move so? Our soul burns from battle. I don't care how. This would, if this it is. Get up. Hey, there we are. 
and it's time to attack. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Of course, we'll just step up and fight. Step forth. Okay, so about uh, eight minutes left. I'm fine. Hopefully it doesn't spawn like somewhere weird, like at the, you know, the way back at the beginning. And there we are. That's just you down. Very well. Shall remember your efforts. Come down, please. Game. Game. Is he stuck? Okay, he's unstuck. Grab your head. So I have five minutes to defeat Lulu. It's about six minutes to defeat Lulu, which is more than enough time. Stop it! You are no fighter, now are you? Do I have to manu- Okay. I have to manually do it myself, you know, unlike the last time where just Lulu was like, you know what, I'm just tired of this, I'm open the gates. I still have more than enough time, though. Just see with the rage meter. Just swap to the thing, rage meter, blah, 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 blah. Down. It should be, at least. That usually is. Anyways, get some health, because we are pretty darn injured. And we're fighting Lubu, so we want to be at full health, you know? It's Lubu. Uh, but first, use our Musos as well, by the way. Really? Four hits. Five hits, okay. Five catapult throws. Alright, it's five hits. Alright. Okay, I'm sure there's a faster way of doing this. Why is there a ballista? There's a ballista when you need one. See you from there. Crush these Smile, Crush pass. Most of my time. Not even worth soiling my blade. 
Where are you, Lubu? Where is Lubu? Okay, we have about three and a half minutes. That's fine. Okay. Stop it, Lugabu! Stop blocking! Right. is now. God, I hate these guys. They always suck! They always knock Lugabu out of the freaking way! That's why I hate fighting with these guys. Like, okay, quick learner. Is there anything in chat to make my defense higher? My attack higher? Uh, we have about two and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna run away. And if I'm caught in the thing, I'm ready to use my Musa. I found this situation. Okay, just checking the bar. Okay. One and a half minutes. Out of the way! Boom! Another victory in the name of my brother! Alright, and that's a treasure on the way, okay. Boom! Got it! And now I can just progress as normal. Sometimes you just gotta spam moves. Ow! I'm gonna face things with a, with a halberd. Excuse me. Sorry for that. I had a sneeze. What's good is that after this will be very much easier. Jump on the birds! I don't know, ask him. I'm surrounded by flames. Somebody help me. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. Okay, let's see the green dra look the 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 form of the godly dragon. All right, let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like it. I'll have to see its model versus its render. But I do like the gold in the, in the green. It's a, I think it fits Guan Yu's design philosophy pretty well. Oh, we also have the full moveset now for Guan Yu. Which means we have the full, we have the, the, third, the fifth EX attack. One, two, three, four, five. In, in my opinion, one of the strongest moves in the game. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five. There's stand for me, then die, says the one who must be defeated. And now we'll do... We'll do Zhong Fei's. Zhong Fei. Alright. <laughs> right. Brother, let's get going! We must these That's all. That was new. Uh, horse? Thank you. Shushui. 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 <laughs> no, I've never actually played the missions with like every like all the hypotheticals on. I've always done it with uh, just doing historical, then doing all the hypotheticals, and doing the, hypo the hypothetical mission. Destroyed in every mission. <sighs> Get annihilated. I'm surprised there wasn't a Hulao Gate mission for uh, for them. You know, it was like defeat Hua Shang. You know, just so we can get to Sun Jian a little more than before he <laughs> immediately dies. What the heck? Okay. Thought I was going the other way, but no. Hey, Air Musso. Zhang Fei was known for having very strong lungs. And a very frightening face like a lion. Alright, it's no one. Let's only knock on my door. that done and now let's uh, have uh, Zhang Fei do what his brother did and uh, ru basically uh, <laughs> not ruin history but just destroy Hua Shang with the power of wrestling Hua Shang, Hua Shang, Hua Shang. I do not understand how they added Hua Shang into the games. Uh, I understand that, like, that, uh, that Lu Bu story made Hua Shang a ver- or Hua Shang a much more important character, but, oh my god, he died so early and so nonchalantly. He's like, <laughs> I'm very strong. Dies. That's it. He's like, I'm I am so strong, I won't let anyone defeat me. Before immediately getting his head chopped off by Guan Yu. Also, I forgot to mention Guan Yu drank the rest of the cup. Mm -hmm. 
keep slaughtering them. Bonk. Hey, do you have the full moon set now? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. You have poison weapon, tip weapon, no? Oh yeah, that's this weapon. Lightning and poison. Huh. One. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Bonk. Mm -hmm. I just realized this. Have Zhang Fei and, and, and Zhang Liao ever actually fought? Because, yeah, they never fought. Thinking about it. Like, unless they fought at the Battle of Shu Province, but like... Like, but, uh... But I don't know, because even then, during then, he was working with Lu Bu. They never fought! Think about it. Because the moment that he joined, he was placed in the, on the eastern border, so... He, they never fought each other. Maybe... Was, no, no, wait, they they have to have fought at, at, uh... At, what is it called? The Battle of, uh... The Battle of Chengdu. Or did they? <sighs> Who knows? I think historically they were actually met. Okay, they had to meet met. I wonder if they ever fought each other because. No, wait, no, they did fight each other! Because. Because I'm forgetting that battle of Xiao Pi. It's not it's not shown in, in this part of the game, but but Liu Bei was instrumental in the battle of Xiao Pi. I don't know why, but I've been imagining Zhang Fei picking up Lubu by the legs and swinging him around like he's a freaking pendulum. He's pretty funny. <laughs> to me. Topsy Turvy! Do si do time! Feel the right. Destroy the catapults. I think for the battle, you have to let, like, like for Shu Province, to let no one escape or something like that. It's like piss. It's like a very, it's a very hard mission, if I remember. Dozy Tarheim! Oh, I missed. The <laughs> spin, spin, what the frick? Oh, holy moly! Young fur. Oh my lord! Oh, it's so much easier. Why did you? Okay, go on you. <laughs> Runs up. Damn it! Hey, look, is the enemy drum roll? Is he running right up to? <laughs> Punch the face. Eat my. F Eat my weapon! Anyways, what is your. I had actually wide range, you can blow enemies away only with strong tick one. Okay, I see. 
I need to read those more. I know that the, the twin swords weapon is literally just kids swap weapon instantly. What does Guan use? After seeing no, no multi attacks are typically viewed with the element of fire. Okay. So it's not the X attack that does that, it's just the, the weapon. I did not know that. Okay. I do have to say, uh, with Liu Bei as a character, he, even, he very much cares for the people, from what I understand, and in history he did too. But, you know what I understand? But, uh, Liu Bei had a, ma a big problem. That problem is betraying people. Liu, Bu, uh, Liu Bei was never, was not really true to his word, ever, and would constantly betray people. <laughs> so, we'll... He'll look into more of that, or leaving the people he's working under. One of them being Gu Sung Zan. I like how Nine actually calls that out, though. And he's like, hey, Liu Bei, you're kind of betraying everyone you work under. Literally everyone. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. You you beat up Blue Boo. What more challenge is there? Not beating up your own men with a stick? Anyways, he's dead. So much EXP that's been wasted. Anyways, that's that done. Anyways, n next time on Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends, we'll be heading into the defense of Shu Province, going on the opposite side. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye. Peace.